Hello and welcome to episode 7 for our Let's Play of the Two Towers. In the last episode we arrived at the Golden Hall and we freed King Theoden from Saruman's uh, control using Gandalf's magic. Um, so the next thing we'll need to do is uh, we'll need to do some exploration around uh, in the Golden Hall before we set out um, for the battle against Saruman. So we'll just leave the throne room to the south here. The Rohirrim look upon a bare section of wall and gasp. Helm's horn, it hangs no longer in the hall. The horn is of great importance to them, and men are sent to search Grima's room. A guard comes back with a look of horror on his face. There were traps in Grima's room, Lord. Guthlaf and Thread are dead. The horn was not found, yet he could not have retrieved it, for he fled most hastily. Gandalf says Master Wormtongue's traps seem light work. Let us search with fresh eyes, men of Rohan. You are told Grima's room is on the second floor in the northwest corner of the hall. Hama looks to you. We searched the room of Grima well, until Guthlaf and Thread fell. Perhaps your skill can prevail over Grima's cunning and the magic of Saruman. So that's the first thing we'll do. Uh, actually, the stairs are in the eastern part. Um, go up to the second floor and um, see what we can find out in Grima's room. And there's some other stuff in some of these rooms, but um, we'll get to that as we explore the rest of the building after we search in Grima's room. It's in the northwest corner, they said. One of the Rohirrim says in disgust, Behold the chamber of Grima the Wormtongue, a traitor to his king, a breaker of oaths, and a thief. Alright, so we'll see what we can figure out with perception. Paragraph 153. There is something odd about Wormtongue's large, empty, canopied bed. Under it, no, that's been searched. The guards even crawled in to look at its underside. Hmm, above it? The canopy hides the ceiling. So we'll need to um, climb up on top of the bed. Let's see what we can find up there. Someone's got to be able to climb. There we go. What do we do? Oh, yeah. We don't climb up on the bed, actually. We'll need to uh, detect traps with uh, Gimli. The lock is ornate, metal worked in the shape of a grinning fanged face, and the fangs are real bone, smooth and cut with a tiny upright hand rune. No doubt the poison that killed the guards lurks on them. Uh, and it references 153 again. Um, so we'll need to disarm the trap on the lock, and then we'll find uh, Helm's horn. Hama is watching you, and the sight of the old horn's dull gleam, his eyes light up. Rejoice, men of the mark, Helm's horn is found. And we also have a box that we can pick up. Give it to Gimli. The box contains messages. One says, deep by water, fourth stone. The second reads, high by sky, the star above the stair. The third says, under king, stand back. Someone murmurs these words, then asks, what three things are missing? We get uh, three keys as well that we'll need to take. And then we have paragraph 185. Um, as you hold the messages in your hand, a guard arrives from the throne room. My king, he begins, we have checked the vaults that are hidden near the hearth. All the gold and gems are gone, lord, he says bitterly. Not a coin is left. Theoden merely nods. What says the message? You read it out, glumly. Gone, Theoden, stolen away, even as your power has. He peers. It is written in blood not long ago. The king frowns again, then says softly, the gifts of Saruman, he's taken them back. Theoden looks at you. Long years ago, when King Freelaf was crowned, Saruman brought gifts to the crown of Rohan, and received the keys of Orthanc. Theoden seems to stare at something far away. Then he nods. A bridle that tames the wildest horse, a scepter that protects against magic, and a cup whose draught purges disease. 76. We're getting a lot of paragraphs here. These are lost to us, cries Hama. In my wardship, Lord, take my life. He offers his sword to the Lord of the Mark. Theoden shakes his head, pushing it away. Take back your sword, loyal Hama, the king says slowly. The scepter Grima brought to me for a time, days ago, when I lay ill in a bed he left us, now with nothing so great in his hands, and no time to take such up, no. 
He has hid these things in three places. These keys tell us here about Megisel. Adarus seeing him going about with such precious things, if I called for them, it would not be talked into forgetting as I have been more than once, I now recall. That's quite a sentence. I don't really know what to make of it. <laughs> uh, the Rohirrim explained, These treasures are valuable, for it was prophesied at King Freyleif's crowning that an army that departed from Adarus without them would not know victory. They must be found. All right, so that's what we'll uh, need to do then before we can leave uh, for battle. We'll need to find those three items. And uh, the message actually had clues about which, where the items were being hidden. And one said uh, something about uh, down below uh, in water and stone. I can't remember exactly. But there's actually a basement down here that might shed some light on that clue. And we found a well. The well cellar is dark. Its stone ceiling, floor, and walls are all glistening damply. Water buckets are drawn up a shaft by chain. There's nothing else in the room but the well. And here's where we will need to climb. We can climb down into the well. The smell of wet earth is strong. The stones are crumbling, but none can be pried loose. None show any marks. Nothing is hidden. You cannot imagine even Wormtongue climbing into this place. Within the well of Aderus, you discover a vial of liquid. It was leaking something into the water. We found a uh, spider's bane. You've taken the vial, but you are still standing in the dank dark of this place. And maybe we can find something else here? No. So, uh, I guess the only thing left to do is climb out. So we didn't find anything in here other than the poison. You suddenly realize that the purple liquid is a deadly poison. Death waits for all who drink of it, or water from the well if the vial breaks. Spider Bane, Gandalf gasped, the distilled venom of Ungoliant's spawn. Deadly indeed. It's best burned, after Theoden sees how deep runs Grimus treachery. And this was in our well, to taint our very water we drink? Theoden's face darkens. Then he shakes his head wryly. I've seen, I've been drinking Grimus poison, one way or another, these latter years, nor noticed the taste. And the text box was actually wrong. There is uh, something else in the room besides the well. There's a little uh, chest over here in the corner. This closet is dusty from disuse. You can barely discern the sound of something shuffling in the darkness nearby. Maybe we can find out what that is. The black, hairy, many-legged horror is plummeting out of the darkness above. It's a spider. Well, we shouldn't have any problem dealing with it, even though... Um, a couple of our characters here, if you remember in the last episode, we had to leave all our weapons outside at the door before we could enter the Golden Hall. But the Rohirrim here have their swords still. There's a locked chest here. You notice that the lock has a white hand sigil built into the keyhole. But we know that Grima has placed traps around, so we'll need to... Um, use Gimli's skill to try and see if there are any here. The chest is closed, and the board it rests upon slopes down. If the chest is removed, the board will spring up, and its other end, somewhere in the direction of the well, will dip sharply down. A trap? We can see if we can disarm it. You have pried open the lock. You could not pull it off the chest, but you have altered some of the mechanisms. Perhaps you can pick it now. Let's do that then. Inside the chest is a tangle of leathern straps and winking gems. It is the missing bridle. So here's the first of the items that we need to find. Saruman's gift restored to us. It gleams as it is raised. A sudden shaft of sunlight reaches through a high window, and the gift blazes with sunfire. Once Saruman's heart was fairer than it is now, would that it were so again. Uh, just the message about the well again. So that's all we'll need to do in the basement. And one of the other clues um, said something about under the king and uh, behind. I think that might be talking about the throne room here. But if you remember, Gandalf said we needed to uh, burn the poison. So we can do that here at the fire in the hall. The poison crackles and vaporizes in the fire of the hearth. 
Is there no limit to the treachery of Saruman and his servants, one of you mutters? Nonetheless, this is a great deed, done well. So we'll go back to the throne here. The chair is a massive work of stone, gilded and ornate. Running, leaping horses and warriors chase about its side, and maidens armed with swords and spears uphold its arms. You spot no catches or seams, but is that cleft a hidden door? Maybe we can see. There's something hidden beneath the throne of Theoda, and is that a lock? Perhaps. Once again, we'll need to check for any traps. Wormtongue's traps are as cunning as his treachery, even so you believe that it has been disarmed. Just double check. Alright, so now we can pick the lock. And we find the cup. So the second of the items. And the last clue uh, mentioned something about uh, a star, so that'll probably be somewhere on the top uh, level of the golden hall. Uh, I think there's nothing else we need on this uh, floor, so we'll go back upstairs. And uh, to the north here is uh, the armory, so you can grab some items here if you need any of them. I'm just going to grab them all for now and sort it out later. Uh, here we have uh, Eowyn's room. Uh, she said she's supposed to help you with information, but uh, I couldn't get her to tell me anything very useful at all. Theoden's chamber is a mess. It is obvious that someone tried to ransack it, but left before he could completely loot it. Theoden's sword, Herogrim, is here. So we'll give him his sword. all there is on uh, this level. Yep, so we can go up to the third floor. Uh, 17. The gesturing phantom howls, avenge me, see worm tongue driven from this hall and land, and Saruman's evil broken and spent. The phantom sighs, a chill breath whistles among you. Worm tongue killed me, in life I was fallen, page in this hall. I betrayed my king and realm, not once, but many times. I would make amends, if you will aid me. End this evil, strike down Grima the Pale. Slay or cast out also the others who serve Saruman. Iser, Helmar of the Guard, Olbrin the Butcher, the merchants of Felgon and Hollardin, and Ediana of the King's Kitchens. Let's see if we can find anything else out from the ghost. Uh, I think you can ask about Saruman. That's the only thing he'll give you information about. I have much to say on that subject. The phantom fades. A failing voice comes to you as a frantic, ragged whisper. Seek the doors of the dead in Harrowdale. There Grima took a stolen blade and sought counsel with others who serve his master. And uh, actually that quest, uh, I haven't been able to figure out anything about or find any of those people that he mentions here in the building or anywhere else. Um, if anyone else has any information about that, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, here we have a healer in this room. Uh, you could smell the contents of this chamber long before you entered it. It smells of healing draught, but worse. An old man is brewing his elixirs and medicines here. And we don't need any healing right now, but um, we'll come back to him in a little bit. There's one guy we need to talk to up here in the, this corner. A short, quiet man looks up at you. I am Hambold, teacher of Aderis. In gratitude for what you have done for our king, I offer you my services. And you can grab some skills here, if you want any of them. Um, so we just need to go up to the, I think the next floor is the top one. Go back to the stairs over here. Yeah, watch out for this area. If you go too far north here, a uh, trap will um, damage everyone in your group. There's a locked chest here. You notice that the lock has a white hand sigil built into the keyhole. We can use one of the keys we found in Grima's room, the first iron key on it. This chest contains letters from Saruman to Wormtongue. Send your men to find two magical gauntlets near Helm's Deep. The hands of the gods must be found by mid-year. Signed, S. No doubt who that is. 
So we just go around, continue around to the eastern part. Gazing upward, you find the attic of Megiseld. Even a quick glance into the shadows reveals that this place is quite unkempt. There's something disquieting about this place. Yeah, a lot of these uh, text boxes didn't get edited or anything, and sometimes they'll have words twice or omitted words. Um, kind of messes up the flow of reading them. Anyway, uh, we'll use perception here and see what we can find. The air outside is clear and chill. There, within easy reach of the skylight, see there's one right now, um, the is twice. There, within easy reach of the skylight, a bronze rod lies wedged amid the thatch, one end fashioned into an open hand, like the white hand of Saruman. It is the scepter. So we have the last item that we need. Someone is floating in midair, not far away. An old bearded man in flowing robes stands calmly on nothing, watching you. His smile is slow and sure, his eyes dark dagger points. He says nothing but gestures, leave the scepter be. We can talk to him. I guess we can't talk to him. Well, obviously we can't leave the scepter behind, so we'll just have to do battle with um, this uh, apparition that Saruman conjured. And that's why we're going to need to uh, go back to the healer on the floor below this one after this. Saruman uh, has a ton of health and can do a decent bit of damage to your party members. But luckily I'm getting some good punches with uh, these characters that don't have any weapons. Saruman runs away. So now we have the three items that we need um, to lead the the armies of Rohan. Uh, we'll just pop back in uh, to the healer real quick. We already read about that. He points at his throat, which is badly scarred. Obviously, he is mute. And if you just ask him, heal. He nods his and hands you a spoon of his foul-smelling brew. We'll just check uh, Hama, because he was the one who uh, got most of the damage. And we can uh, get more healing if we need it. There we go. Alright, so now uh, we can set out from the Golden Hall, since we've got everything in here that we need. We'll have to be sure to reclaim our weapons at the door before we um, set out for battle. Something is wrong here. Anduril, which Aragorn placed at the door, is gone. Well, um, I guess we'll have to uh, figure out where Aragorn's sword went. I'm just going to grab all these items here. The Rohirrim say the, the items stolen by Wormtongue have been found. We may ride to victory. For the mark, fourth Aer Lingus. Um, I think this will be a good place to bring the episode to a close. Um, and I'm going to take the chance. Uh, I'm not going to do it on screen because it would take too much time and be really boring to watch but uh trade everyone their items back you know glam drink to gandalf and um arm everybody again um obviously since aragorn's sword has been stolen we'll have to give him uh, a replacement to use in the meantime um but if we remember what the ghost said um if we go to the door of the dead we'll um find worm tongue and some followers of saruman there and the ghost mentioned that he took a sword with him so hopefully um that's the sword uh anduro so we can find that there um, but we will embark upon that quest in the next video.